Hello everyone this is S Divya from Biotechnica Today I am here to shed light on crucial topics and reference book from unit 6 plant physiology of CSIR net life science syllabus This unit holds significant importance and weightage from examination point of view so let's delve into that To begin with the syllabus of unit 6 that is divided into 8 sub units we have photosynthesis respiration nitrogen metabolism plant hormones sensory photobiology solute transport secondary metabolites and stress physiology now what are the important subunits from the unit 6 well instead of saying that i would like to say what are the least important subunit from this unit 6 So unit 6 nitrogen metabolism part and stress physiology is considered to be the least important one. The reason is that it's not that they don't ask questions they do ask but it is not mandatory. Of course they do ask questions in the form of four marks but it is not mandatory. Sometimes they ask sometimes they won't ask. But the remaining subunits if you see whether it is photosynthesis respiration plant hormones sensory photobiology solute transport and secondary metabolites every time you will get question from all the subunits c and h is optional so let's have a look into the comparison of june and december 2023 number of questions came from unit 6 so this is june morning shift june evening shift If you see the part C questions 8 in both the shift part B 4 and 5 now in the month of december morning shift and evening shift if you see 5 part C 4 part B 7 part C and 5 part B so looking into this scenario i can say one thing that almost a minimum of 10 questions you can expect from unit 6 in every exam that means csir net exam and a maximum of 12 to 14 questions you can expect the same pattern is seen not only in the 2023 but also seen in 2022 2021 2020 and so on the only thing is that plus or minus one or two questions will be added up or will not be added up otherwise this is what the scenario is so now you can realize how much important is unit 6 from csir point of view now we understood the syllabus we came to know how much or how many number of questions are coming from this unit now let's check out from which all subunit how many number of questions come so you can see from photosynthesis and respiration one to two questions are always expected nitrogen metabolism and stress physiology as i told you sometimes they ask sometimes they skip even if they ask maybe one okay and that could be in the form of match the following or statement based question but remaining all the subunits whether it is plant hormones sensory photobiology solute transport secondary metabolites so this i have given a maximum of two so again uh, tentatively i can say one question sometimes they will ask or sometimes two question and that one question can be from part b or only from part c or maybe both from part b or both from part c so that depends upon the examination but this is the maximum number of questions you can expect from each of the subunits next let's have a look into the topics wise important part so i have divided them into three parts most important topics medium important topics and least important topics most important topics undoubtedly the part a that means the 6a photosynthesis is as a total it is important 
same is the case with respiration and photorespiration uh, when it comes to nitrogen metabolism as i said you sometimes they are sometimes they skip but if they ask basically it comes from nitrate and ammonium assimilation that is the fixation part from there you can expect the organism or the sequence of events those things when coming to plant hormones you have to be very clear with all the major hormones that is whether it is your auxin gibberellin cytokinein abscisic acid ethylene jasmonic acid etc right from their structure to synthesis signaling examples inhibitors every single detail you have to be clear with it because you never know from which part they are going to ask the question and that can be a match the following or it could be a combination statement sensory photobiology always you can see questions do come based upon phytochromes cryptochromes phototropins even the stomatal movement part can be combined with abscisic acid hormone and they can ask question from there solute transport of course that particular subunit is having a lot of content but the most important part from solute transport is mechanism of loading and unloading the photo assimilates then secondary metabolites whether it is terpenes phenolic compounds or alkaloids all the three are important so under this only we will be having the jasmonic acid salicylic acid pathways so these are some important parts from or i can say the most important topics from the unit 6 now moving on to the medium important yes alternate oxidases is not so important then similarly photoperiodism biological clocks sometimes they ask but sometimes they skip solute transport were earlier times they used to ask questions based upon the xylem phloem transportation translocation of molecules but nowadays the prime focus is this one and the least important one is nitrogen metabolism part that is the amino acid biosynthesis part even the stress physiology part stress physiology part as i said you if they ask they can ask in the form of match the following based upon any stress conditions so overall if you see the uh, unit 6 the questions can be expected in any form it could be statement based questions it could be match the following kind of questions it could be image based questions so these are the three patterns via which the questions come in the exam next the last part is the reference book the one and only and the best reference book for unit 6 is tays and ziger plant physiology so always refer this book whenever you are preparing for unit 6 it's not that other books are not available or we don't have any other book for plant physiology but this is the best book and in fact questions are usually asked from focusing on this reference book only so you can follow this so that's it we have uh, done with the unit 6 important topics syllabus the marks total number of questions i hope so this will help you in preparing and strategizing yourself when you will go for unit 6 preparation Thank you so much.